Greetings everyone, um, today I'd like to continue my random talk about the random stuff and um, today I would like to talk about the Asian stuff. You know that I'm an Asian and my uh, fellow uh, Mongol Asians like to claim that they are super Asians. So um, today I would like to um, talk about uh, one common uh, idea or um, tradition or something spiritual um, among you know Asians uh, what Asians share uh, I would like to talk about the wife wife's hairstyle I mean there is this common tradition that a married woman or someone's wife should uh, show her uh, royalty or you know this um, uh, you know, being married using her hairstyle, not, you know, ring. Nowadays, we use ring. But in old times, um, everyone was agreed that a woman must show her hair in a public and she should have certain hairstyle in order to say that she is a hostess. She is like a, a housewife, something like that. So, um, not only, you know, these Mongolians have this, you know, wife hairstyle, but it's also um, Tibetans, Chinese, Koreans and Japanese have own distinctive, you know, culture or in this hairstyle about, you know, married woman. I guess in Japan there can be, you know, this uh, uh, special hairstyle for uh, geisha and special hairstyle for, you know, a common married woman. Uh, same with, you know, this Korean uh, wives. You know, the Korean wife has this... Uh, very long, you know, these uh, black bra braids, and um, I know that Chinese uh, married women usually have this uh, butterfly, and so, you know, it's a Manchu tradition, of course. So, um, a woman, a married woman, must show uh, her hairstyle in the public. It is our Asian tradition and when you are talking about tradition, of course, tradition must be something of a belief and something of a spiritual so um, um, I'm not an expert on this uh, other Asian traditions so um, I guess um, a Chinese historian or uh, an expert or Korean historian an expert or Japanese historian or an expert can uh, give us you know this um, uh, meaning why you know this it was important for a woman to have certain hairstyle and show it into public and um, why it is you know uh, important spiritually important something like that so um, um, well of course this you know a certain wife hairstyle makes things very easily and if you see a woman with you know this wife hairstyle you can call her a lady or a madam and uh, you know you know that uh, she's married woman so um, uh, let's talk about you know uh, Mongolian stuff I mean here in Mongolia what you know uh, we have a word for a hostess uh, here it is Girin uh, a word gir means of course yurt idikte uh, means uh, uh, the lord female lord or lady it's uh, the female version of a word uh, uh, lord. Uh, here in Mongolia, the word lord is itzing, and itzikte is the feminine word. And if we add um, a g, like this, gizikte, if you create word gizikte, it's going to be long haired. Um, a year ago, I had a long hair, and I guess uh, Mongolians will call me as um, uh, this uh, one with the long hair, something like that. Word gizikte uh, is nowadays used as long hair, but um, spe specifically, word means uh, braids or um, you know this uh, pigtail. So um, yeah. Um, Mongolian, this uh, wife has this big gizik, and she can be called as a gizikte, um, meaning she has this uh, hairstyle, something like that. So, um, why? Why a woman has, you know, this 
a complicated hairstyle. Uh, according to our, you know, this old saying, it is believed that, you know, when you look at, uh, you know, this woman's hair and if she is having you know good hairstyle it means that uh, he her husband is you know this good uh, it is believed that it is a tradition of a good husband i mean uh, she has this time to look after her hair and she has these decorations on her hair it means um, someone is spending money on this uh, uh, you know these jewelries and stuff and um, there's this saying that uh, you judge uh, you know um, the husband by what the wife is wearing something like that well um, that's pretty much for today and um, sometimes you know these old traditions must be reminded and um, some people uh, um, you know this have you know this uh, this old traditional wife hairstyle when during their you know wedding ceremony i not, noticed that it, in korea and sometimes in china and um, rarely here in mongolia the women you know this uh, wear this uh, stuff uh, when they having you know this wedding ceremony so uh, we have this own uh, belief we have this own tradition that a married woman must uh, show her um, hairstyle in a public and uh, people will be, you know, um, immediately will be you know, respectful about it. Well, uh, that's pretty much for today, and thanks for watching.